Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create, edit, and enhance videos using Veed.io, one of the easiest online video editors available right now. If you've ever struggled with complicated editing software, spent hours cutting and trimming clips, or just wanted a simple yet powerful tool to create videos quickly, then you're going to love this tutorial. With Veed.io, you can create professional looking videos right in your browser. No need to download any software, no complicated settings, and no editing experience required. It has a ton of features, including AI powered text to speech, automatic subtitles, background removal, screen recording, and even AI voiceovers that let you create videos without ever speaking into a microphone. And the best part, you can get started for free. I've linked Veed.io in the description, so make sure to check it out. Now let's jump right in. So first of all, I click on Start for Free from the Veed.io website. After clicking on Start for Free, it redirects me to the Login or Sign Up page. From here, I can create a free account with the help of Google, or I can continue with Apple, or I can continue with Microsoft, or I can enter my own email address and sign up. If you already have an account, you can click on Login and sign in, I'm gonna sign up with Google. After signing up, you'll be redirected to a page asking for your name. Enter your name and click continue. Next, veed.io will ask for your workspace name. I'll keep it as it is and click continue. Then, veed.io will ask if you want to invite editors. This is a useful feature where you can add collaborators. For example, if you're editing a project and want other editors to make changes, you can enter their email addresses and they'll have access to the same project. If you don't want to add anyone right now, just click continue. Now veed.io welcomes you and asks a few questions. First, it asks how you'll use veed. I'll select personal use. Then it asks for the main purpose of your videos, how often you create videos, and other similar questions. I'll answer them and click continue. Next, it asks if I'd like to receive updates. I'll click maybe later. After that, it redirects me to the plan selection page. I'll explain the plans later, but for now I'm choosing the free plan and clicking continue with free plan. Now I'm inside the veed.io dashboard. The first thing it says is let's make a video. First, I'll click on the veed.io icon on the left hand side. This takes me to the main dashboard. From here, you can create a new project, record a video, create an AI avatar, generate clips, use AI dubbing, or turn text into video with AI. There are also AI editing options and a template section where you can browse pre-made templates and customize them as you like. For this tutorial, I'm gonna click on create new project and start from scratch. First, you'll see the option to upload a file. You can either choose from stock videos, upload or drag your own file or even import a file using a link. Once you've selected the video, you'll see multiple options on the screen. There's a record option, a brand kit section, a text to speech tool, and a voice clone feature. On the left hand side, you'll find options for subtitles, video clips, audio, text, elements, and settings. Now let's add subtitles to the video. I'll go to the subtitle section Select the video I want to add subtitles to. Since I have two videos in my timeline, I can choose between them. I can also select the language for the subtitles. Then I'll click on Auto Subtitle in English, and v.io will generate subtitles automatically. Now going back to the video section, if I click on a video in the timeline, I'll see multiple options for editing. From here, I can either choose to add animations or adjust the video. I can change the speed, increase or decrease the volume, and apply fade in or fade out effects to the audio. Then there are some magic tools that can enhance the video even further. I can use the close audio option, activate eye contact to maintain better engagement, and use remove background to erase the background from my video. There's also a green screen option, which allows me to replace the background with something else. Another useful feature is Magic Dot, along with many other tools like Remove Silences, which automatically cuts out dead air and awkward pauses. 
I can also adjust the opacity, change the rotation, and angle, or center the video as needed. If I want to split a video, I'll go to the timeline and move the playhead to the exact point where I want to make the cut. Once the playhead is in place, I'll click on the split option in the timeline. As you can see, the video is now split. To delete a section, I'll click on the part I want to remove, right click, and select delete. When I select a clip, I can resize it by dragging its edges, rotate it, or adjust its position. To add text, I'll click on the text section in the left hand menu. From here, I can add headings, apply animations, adjust the size, and customize the text in however I like. Now let's explore the elements option. This section provides the various graphic elements that I can add to my video. I can also apply transitions between clips. For example, if I have a cut in my video, I'll click on the transitions option and choose from multiple pre-built transitions. I'll apply the cross blur transition. And as you can see, the transition has been applied smoothly. Once I'm done with editing, I'll head to the top right corner where there's a done button. Clicking on it will take me to the export settings. Here I can choose the video quality low, standard, HD, or even 4K. On the right hand side, there's also an adjust icon, which allows me to set the frame rate. If I want a smoother video, I can set it to 60 FPS. Now I'll go back and click on export. After the video is processed, I can see the download and share icons on the right hand side. If I click on share, I can copy the video link and share it directly to multiple platforms. If I click on download, I can save the video to my device. Now let's talk about the pricing plans. Veed.io offers three main pricing tiers, Lite, Pro, and Enterprise. The Lite plan costs $12 per editor per month when billed yearly. It's perfect for creating social media videos with features like no watermarks, auto subtitles for up to 144 hours per year, full HD 1080p exports, access to some stock audio and video, unlimited file upload size, a simple brand kit for customizing fonts, colors, and subtitles, and auto resizing for social media. You can have up to three editors on this plan, with each editor billed separately. The Pro plan, which is the recommended option, costs $29 per editor per month when billed yearly. It includes everything in the Lite plan, plus access to all AI tools, the ability to translate videos into 50 plus languages, 4K Ultra HD exports, a full stock audio and video library, the option to download subtitles, a complete brand kit with images, video, and audio, AI avatars for up to four hours per year, and the ability to caption and share videos from iOS. Like the Light Plan, it supports up to three editors. For larger teams and businesses, the Enterprise Plan offers custom pricing it includes everything in the pro plan, along with custom templates, centralized team and data management, a review mode for videos, custom AI avatars, custom usage limits, and many more useful features. And that's how you create professional videos using Veed.io. It's fast, easy to use, and packed with AI tools that save you time. Whether you're making YouTube content, TikToks, Instagram Reels, or business presentations, Veed makes video editing simple, even if you're a complete beginner. If you found this tutorial helpful, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And don't forget to use the link in the description to try Veed.io for free.